Page 83. Exercise 8. Conversation. Listen and practice. This John Grisham novel looks interesting. Oh, it is. It's about a guy who joins a corrupt law firm and then can't leave. Luckily, he has a brave wife who helps him out of the mess. Hmm, maybe I'll read it. Well, the movie is even better. Oh, is that the movie that stars Tom Cruise? Yeah. Why don't we rent the video? You don't mind seeing it again? Not at all. You rent the video and I'll bring the popcorn. Page 84. Exercise 11. Listening. Part A. Listen to two critics talk about a new movie. What do they like or not like about it? Rate each item in the chart from 1 to 3. Welcome to A Night at the Movies. I'm Pauline Kahn. And I'm Colin Hale. Good evening. Tonight we're going to review the new James Bond film. Well, I really liked this new James Bond actor very, very much. Mm-hmm. He's the best actor they've ever had in the role. Warm, human, even funny. A totally believable character. I have to agree. A perfect 007 type. Pauline, what did you think of the story? It was a standard story for a Bond movie. Uh, the usual beautiful women, the usual evil villain, nothing new. Well... I'm surprised. I have to say that I thought the story was unusually good. The race car scenes were exciting and the surprise ending was great. Well, I can't agree with you there. Well, what did you think about the photography? I was not very impressed at all by the photography. Everything looked fake, not real. I can't believe it was actually filmed in Africa where the story took place. I can't believe you. I haven't seen such good photography in a long time, especially in the action scenes. Now that brings up another weakness in the film, the special effects. Again, it's just the same old stuff. The car that flies, the pen that's really a gun. You get tired of that kind of thing. I'd hardly think you and I saw the same movie, Pauline. I have to say that the special effects were the best ever in a Bond film. For example, the scene Excuse where... Excuse me, Colin. We're going to have to break for a commercial. You're right, Pauline. We'll be right back with our ratings. Page 84, Exercise 11, Part B. Look at the chart in Part A. Guess how many stars each critic gave the movie. Then, listen to the critics give their ratings. So, Colin, how do you rate the new James Bond movie that we've reviewed this week? Well, Pauline, I'd have to say that I'm proud to give this movie my highest rating, four stars. And I would like to encourage everyone to go and see this movie soon. How about you, Pauline? You did like the new actor who plays James Bond. That part's true, Colin. However, I have to give the movie only two stars, a rating of fair. Hmm. Well, that's all from us tonight. See you next week.